And these are pretty incredible across the state. Snowball ends up the big winner here at 36 inches. I have not seen a total in from sunrise, so uh, they may be upwards in the same range. But Flagstaff's got reports now of 22 to 27 inches around town, 23 at both Munns Park and Williams, 16 inches on the ground now in Prescott and a foot in Kayenta. Again, pretty impressive up near four corners. 12 inches for Sedona, nine for Kingman and for Pine. Again, that's a pretty impressive total for Kingman. Dewey, Dewey Humboldt, uh, five inches. We've got three in Chino Valley, and I mentioned that two inches for Carefree. So if you're thinking about heading to Snowball the next couple of days, I know that both yesterday and today they were requiring chains or four-wheel drive, so check that before you head up the mountain. But 28 degrees for a high tomorrow. No more new snow in the forecast. Should be pretty great conditions the next couple of days. I will tell you, Saturday and Sunday are going to be a bit breezy up on the mountain. We picked up over half an inch of rain yesterday in the valley. That's impressive as well, and it puts us at about a fifth of an inch above average. Today is Thursday, so we got our weekly update from the U.S. Drought Monitor. We're seeing more and more improved movement here in terms of our drought for Arizona. 19% of the state now only considered dry with no part of the state in exceptional or extreme drought. Okay, we've got a couple of flood watches warnings to tell you about at this point. All the winter storm warnings have been allowed to expire within the last hour. This is a flood advisory though today now extended until 245. So we've got all these creeks and streams here running uh, some of them over the roadways in these areas just north of town. It's actually where we saw a lot of that snow as well. And then a flood warning for the Tonto Creek. Uh, this is kind of in the effect now in depth Definitely at least through the middle of next week. A uh, Tonto Creek expected to be above flood stage through so at least next Tuesday or Wednesday at this point. The snow melt though going to increase that. So our snow is winding now. We've got a few flurries on the rim in eastern Arizona right now. Uh, this is going to continue moving away. The center of the storm now pushing into New Mexico. So we're seeing these bands here on the back side of this system. As this continues to push away from us, future cast mode now we'll see clearing skies in tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a cool one. We'll warm up a little bit more tomorrow. We head into your weekend and things get really good. We start to warm it up a little bit more. Some general troughing in our area keeps things from warming up too much. That's good. We want a slow melt of the snow in the high country, so we don't have any more rain or snow in the forecast at this point. A slow warm up, though, toward the low 70s by the end of the weekend. And it does look like we'll stay in those low 70s heading into next week.